Coming to you from the state of Maryland. News, weather, traffic, and more. This is YouTube Recording News on YouTube Recording HD with Malcolm Oliver as a news reporter and a weather reporter. Welcome to the YouTube Recording News. So for today, we are going to be talking about the CSX Heritage Unit Pair Marquette Locomotive 1899 and also we're going to be talking about the top stories of the news of the BWI Marshall raises parking rates for the first time, new Francis Scott Key Bridge design, early voting in Harford County. Before we can do that, let's do the weather, traffic, and the Maryland lottery number updates. Today in Maryland, we're going to have rain. So as you can see here, 69 degrees, light rain. Notice for today, it's going to be cloudy around 56 degrees. And then tomorrow is going to be mostly cloudy around 77 degrees. Now the rest of the forecast for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Starting off with Tuesday, we're going to have light rain showers around 75 degrees. Partly sunny will be 85 degrees on Wednesday. And then rain showers will be 71 degrees on Thursday. And then Friday, it's going to be mostly cloudy around 69 degrees. That's on Friday. And finally, Saturday, we're going to have rain showers around 67 degrees. We have a roads closed and a crash on I-95 on both sides. So the roads close on I-95 North, and we have a crash on I-95 South. And we do have a slow traffic on Philadelphia Road on Route 7. We also have some little bit of the slow crash and a slow traffic on US-40. So if you want to head out, you have to take an alternative route, like take exit 74, because it's going to be the roads close. So starting off from exit 77 to exit 80. We do have a a road closure on Maryland 193. So roads closed will be closed until late July. So you might have to take the alternate alternate route until further notice. In Annapolis, we have a road closure on Maryland 450 West, closed until early July. And and the rest of these traffic where you live on these highways, everything is under control. So that's the latest of the traffic. Here's the look at the latest Maryland lottery number updates. Play the new Big Spin Scratch Off from the Maryland Lottery. You could win up to $50,000 instantly, and you could win a digital review on a virtual wheel for up to $250 or a chance to spin the Big Spin Wheel at the Lottery Headquarters for a cash prize ranging from $50,000 to a quarter million. To learn more, go to mdlottery.com. 
Per Marquette Paradigenic Locomotive 1899. It was released on April 30th. The Paramarquette Railroad operating in the Great Lakes region of the United States and parts of southern Ontario, Canada derived its name from Jacques Marquette, a notable French Jesuit missionary credited with founding Michigan's first European settlement in Salt Saint Marie. After years of operation, the company merged with the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway on June 6 of 1947 eventually becoming part of the We Own CSX Network, a fascinating tidbit related to the history of Per Marquette is its cameo in the 2004 film The Polar Express. The steam locomotive Per Marquette 1225 served as an inspiration for the train dispitted in the movie with audio recording of the actual locomotive in operation feature in the film. Interestingly, the locomotive has been donated to Michigan State University and was exhibited near the university football stadium. The author of the Polar Express book drew inspiration from seeing this locomotive on display during childhood, solidifying its place in popular culture. BWI Marshall Airport has the lowest parking rates among the DC region's three airports, but those rates are going up this summer. Long-term parking will go from $8 per day to $11 per day after July 1st, which is the least expensive parking option at BWI Marshall. It is the equivalent of economy parking at Dolly's International, which is $14 per day, and economy parking at Reagan National, which is $19 per day. The other parking rates will change, go into a effect after July 1st. Express parking will be $14 per day, up to $10. Daily garage will be $16 per day, up from $12. Hourly garage will be $30 per day, up from $22. And finally, the BWI rail station garage will be around $12 per day, up from $9. As of May 4th of 2024, engineers say that the Cable Stay Bridge could be in a future of Baltimore's port, the Italian engineering company we built has proposed a cable stay bridge to replace the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which collapsed in March 2024 after a cargo ship hit a support pillar. The new bridge is expected to cost up to $1.9 billion. That's a lot of money and open in four years, likely by fall of 2028. The company say its cable stayed bridge aim to improve several functional aspects, including safety, adaptability, and sustainability. Officials say it would be built for a future of the maritime industry, allowing for even larger ships to enter the port of Baltimore, but the bridge design will be much safer. And finally, on this YouTube recording news, a voter stands at a booth to take part in early voting for Maryland's primary election at the Edgewood Recreation Center on Thursday. Early voting runs from May 2nd through May 9th, which poll location opened from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Also, there is a other locations in Harford County that you can take a vote in, such as McFall Activity Center in Bel Air, Haverty Grace Activity Center, and finally, Jarrettsville Fire Hall. 
As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by on this YouTube recording news. We trust YouTube recording news, but we also trust WJZ, WBAL, WMAR, and WBFF news. Hope you have a great day, as always.